So when I wrote Definition of Good, my husband and I were in a very bad place and I didn't know I didn't know what was going to happen with us. I didn't know if we were going to stay together. I didn't know if we were going to get a divorce. I just didn't know. All I knew was that if God didn't do something, then it was definitely going to be divorce. Um, I mean, the other thing is I didn't know if we were just going to stay in a marriage where we were just like, what? what is this? Um, and that was really an option. And I remember one day, Jermaine and I were sitting on the bed with our children and I was just so aware of the fact that they didn't know that we were going through the hardest time in our lives. And then I I was like, Lord, like, can this, like, how can anything good come out of this? And the Lord was like, I can change your definition of good. He's like, cause it's gonna work together. And I was like, what? So I grabbed my guitar. I, I don't know why, why am I grabbing my guitar in these moments, but like I grabbed my guitar and I'll just start um, plucking out these chords. And the first thing that came was your mercy survives. It outlasts my fear. It outlasts my strive to do everything right. When my will is tired and I've lost my mind, I'll sing. My soul will boast in you. And that was it. I think that I had exhausted all of my all of my self-righteousness and um i began to realize that lord you're good and when i'm when i'm up to here with like craziness you're still good and your mercy is new every day like yeah it really took me and i and i decided that I would sing when I was feeling crazy, you know, and um, I wrote the song right there and that was a while ago. We decided to to change it up. I mean, I was at, I was at a, I had to sing at like an open mic. Um, no, I had to sing at a cafe and as I was singing the song, I began to flow into that. People say some things about you that really aren't true but they don't know you like I do. And I had realized, I think we were just around the time where um, gay marriage had become legal in California and in New York. And a lot of church people were upset and um, I can understand that. But I realized that like God is bigger than the law. God is bigger than these things that we place above him. You know, like we place the law above him and I'm not here to argue the sanctity of marriage or anything like that. But what I'm saying is that God is good and the world doesn't understand spiritual things. They can't, they're blind to them. And it's our job not to be picketing and boycotting, but it's our job to show them the love of Christ that they might save themselves from this wicked and, uh, crazy generation and so yeah I just think that God is God is good and he wants us to show his love to people so that they would be uh transformed and I think that that's the the idea of us going through issues and problems and situations is so that we can in turn help somebody else once we come over um you know when I when I sing the song, I think back. Usually, I feel like I sing it when I'm going through something. And when I sing it, I just look back at all the stuff that God has brought me through. And I'm like, you cannot complain. You cannot even sit here and entertain a crazy thought because it was just some years ago that you and your husband were on your way to being done. And now your husband is waiting at home for you and you can't wait to get to him you know and there's this like crazy love and amazing um chemistry that you guys have that you never thought you'd have again and God redeemed that you know um when I when I sing it I'm thinking about God's goodness and I'm grateful I'm grateful for everything that he did
people say some things about you that really aren't true, but they don't know you like I do.